G'day guys, how are we going? Well today I'm going to show you how to do a camp oven lamb roast right here in my backyard. We'll go up the table here and I'll show you what I've got going on. Okay, so during these times, you know, where we can't get out at the moment with what's going on, um, I'm going to do a camp oven roast right in my backyard and uh, where you can't go camping, well, I'll still have one here. So I'm going to start off with a leg of lamb. Now this is a bonus leg of lamb, so this is going to be pretty amazing. I've just got some oil going on here, a uh, bit of Italian herbs I'm going to use bit of gravy which I'll do a bit later on and then I've got some veggies here that I've already chopped up some potato and some pumpkin but I'll show you what I do with those when we put them into the camp oven a bit later on and uh, good old bit of garlic um, some of that's going to go in so I'm just going to chop that chop that garlic up chop it up in a couple of pieces like so just peel that skin off it what I'm going to do with that let's get that out of the road it's going to slice this up into a couple of pieces like so and then I'm going to put a couple of puncher marks in, punches in this and going to jam the garlic into those. So as this is cooking in the camp oven, the flavours from the garlic will go all through the meat. Absolutely beautiful. So one of those, put that in there. Maybe one more for good luck. <laughs> put one in there. Right, then I'm just going to get a bit of oil. Just douse a bit of oil over the top of it. Just to give it a bit of moisture. Now that camp oven's been heated up now for probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes or so. So it's already up at temperature. It's really important that, you know, with anything you cook in a camp oven, a bit like same as when you cook at home, you always get your oven up to temperature. Well, do the same with your camp oven. So we're going to take this down here now, but I'm going to slow cook this over about three hours. Now, normally a little, little roast like this, um, you know, you can probably knock it up in probably about an hour and a half, hour 45 sort of thing. Um, but I'm going to slow cook this over about three hours and it'll be absolutely amazing. And then the veggies, I'll give this, I'll give the leg of lamb probably about, because I'm going to do it over a slow cook, I'll uh, give this a head start of probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Then I'll put the veggies in, but I'll show you those when we get there. So we'll take this down the camp oven and we'll get this cooking up. Right, so just get this camp oven out of here. Just level a bit of a spot out there. Bring that out of here. Look at that. Righto. Here in goes this beautiful bit of lamb. Sizzling already. On back with the lid. Now, it's going to get a bit of a cold, a few coals going here. Now, I've had a good coal base going on. Got a nice fire going on here. Flatten an area out here. One for the base. Here we go. And just a couple of shovels on top. Unreal. Here we go. Now I'm just going to cook that up as I say, it's just a slow cook. I'm going to keep it back off the heat just a little bit so it doesn't cook too fast and I'll give it about an hour head start and then we'll put the veggies in. So we'll catch up with you when we put the veggies in. Just every 15 minutes just get your oven and just give it a quarter turn and that way just keeps the heat circulating around the inside of your oven. Now the thing with you know with camp oven cooking it's certainly not rocket science whatever you can cook in you know your oven at home in your kitchen you can cook in one of these you know they take certainly yeah, a little bit of getting used to as far as temperatures and that go and getting that right because you know you haven't got a dial when you're out in the bush you know with a camp oven to tell you what temperature on 180 or whatever so they do take a little bit of getting used to but once you you know get used to cooking in a camp oven these are a fantastic way of cooking any sort of meal right while you're out there in the bush and you know like i said i'm going to do this on a slow cook over about three hours so just keeping it back from you know from the fire a bit there and the further you keep it back well that's like tur turning the dial down on your oven you know but if you want to cook it a bit quicker well bring your oven a bit closer and you know you turn your like turning your oven up in your in your kitchen back at home so you know these are fantastic but there's one thing that your oven at home can't deliver what these can and that's purely taste and flavor the taste that comes out of a camp oven Yep, it's amazing. The thing with the camp oven, you've got to keep the wood up and keep small pieces. That's the game. Then you keep the coal base going. 
Okay, so now it's time to you know get get the veggies going in the camp oven. That lamb's now been going for you know a bit over an hour now. So time to get the veggies going. But this is what I do with my potatoes and my roast pumpkin. I um sort of season them up just a little bit. So I put them in a plastic bag like I've got there. Just a bit of olive oil in them, and then I just get a bit of um bit of herbs. Now you can put whatever you want in it, but I just I do like the Italian herbs. So I just put that in a couple of sprinkles in there in the bag with the oil in it and that way all the herbs and that stick to stick to it and then just give it a, a bit of a shake around mix all the oil up mix all the herbs up and it'll taste absolutely amazing right that's all mixed up now time to get it in the camp oven okay so now it's time to get the the veggies in the camp oven it's been going now for about an hour Smells absolutely amazing. So I'll just put all these coals, get rid of these because I'll put some fresh ones on top. Make sure you give it a bit of a bang because you don't want any coals to fall into your camp oven when you put it in. Right, I've got the veggies here. This has been going for, yeah, for a bit for an hour and that is looking fantastic. Not overly cooked, it smells amazing. I'm um, starting to brown up there, Look, looks fantastic. So I'm just going to drop these in here. There, like so, just spread them around a little bit. Might even just put a little bit more oil on that just to moisten it up a bit. Just a dash. Look at that, fantastic. That on there, lid back on the top. Again, we're looking another couple of hours now for this. And at a slow cook, that is certainly the way to go if you can do it, because the, the meat is just absolutely amazing um, uh, when you do a slow cook. Like I've, I've done slow cookers over sort of five to six hours. Um, if you've got the time to do it, absolutely that's the way to go. But um, three hours will be nice for this sort, sort of size meat. Otherwise, you know, if you're doing it at home, um, you know, you'd knock this up in sort of hour and a half, hour 45, a little, little bit of meat like this. But over three hours will be absolutely amazing. So we'll top the lid up with coals and we'll get it going again. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, right, now time to stock that fire up and keep those coals going. And that way, this is gonna keep cooking. Right, right so we're about two hours in now into this cook up and uh, veggies and everything's in there. So let's open it up and have a bit of a look. But we've still got, yeah, a good hour or so before I want to um, have this ready. So let's have a bit of a look and see what, how it's going. Clear a few of those out the road. Let's have a look. It smells pretty good, I can tell you. Oh, that is just browning up. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll put that lid back on. That's still got at least another good hour to go so for how I want it with this slow cook up. But when it's ready, this will be amazing. Right, so we're about two and a half hours now into this camp oven uh, lamb roast so now it's time to get the gravy ready so look you might make your own and there's all sorts of um sorts of recipes you can probably make with making your own gravy but i'm just going to use the good old packet one i've used this one a few times and it's absolutely fantastic and the good old billy's going to do the job so um i'm just going to cut the corner off that like so get all that in there as much as we can there we go put that aside there and now that is going to go on the fire there and get that all warmed up, ready to serve up for dinner. Right, just going to bring that around. Just on a bit of low heat, doesn't want to be too hot. Just going to let that warm up nice and slowly there. Tell you what, that smells pretty good. <laughs> good little cook set this, works an absolute treat. So, just going to let that heat up there. Give it a bit of a stir every now and then. Yeah, got a bit of gravy though when you've got a roast going on. So, I'll let that heat up there and we'll see how that goes a bit later on. Give that a bit of a stir. I reckon it's time to dish this up. Let's have a look at it. Slow cook up lamb roast, just get all that off. 
get the lid off. Put that over there. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let's get this over here, ready to dish up. Put the gravy in. Oh, that's a bit hot. That's very hot. Put that in there. Right, oh, here's the moment of truth. Three hours, cook up for this. Absolutely sensational. Look at that. Magnificent. So it's going to cut this uh, mesh off, like so. Look at that. This is absolutely beautiful cook-up. And as I say, it's certainly the, the secret if you can, um, you can do a slow cook-up rather than, look at that, just falls apart. Absolutely amazing. Beautifully cooked. Let's just get all the net off. That's all off there. And have a look at that. You know, just beautifully cooked. Absolutely beautifully cooked. Slice that up. Couple of slices there. Just absolutely beautiful. Fair income. So put that on there. Get a couple on there. Couple on there. Now I get a couple of veggies out from down here. Got my pumpkin and my potatoes. They're all nicely seasoned. Look at that, beautiful. They're all nicely cooked. Nice and soft. Absolutely beautiful. Bit of pumpkin. And that's certainly the key, you know, if you with your with your veggies, just chuck them in that in that plastic bag as I showed you, and you can put whatever herbs you want in them, you know. I just like the Italian herbs because it tastes really nice before you put them in your camp oven. That is absolutely amazing. Let's just have a crack at this. That is sensational. That is fairly good. as good as you're going to get anywhere. Especially when you slow cook it like I have. For a small bit of lamb like that, to slow cook it over three hours, just sensational. I'm just going to spread a bit of gravy over it. Look at that. Just beautiful. Now that is absolutely fantastic. And it's all cooked right here. Right here in my backyard. How good is that? I mean, it'd be nice to be cooking out in the bush, but hey, end of the day, I cooked myself a lamb roast over three hours, slow cooked in the camp oven. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go, guys. It just shows you can go and do it. Uh, if you've got any questions you want to know about, you know, how to cook up a lamb roast or any tips you've got, chuck them in the comments down below because I'll be certainly keen to hear from them. And um, I'm going to get into this. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one, maybe a Batesy's cook-ups. Catch you later on. See you later.